In behind that Metro Home Building Center starting gate, we'll return to track announcer Vance Cameron. Silver J, catch me if Lou can. Overwatch, Woodmere Bankroll, Southfield Sandy, Bloodhaven. Six noses up on the gate here in the ninth. Top of the stretch. Here they come. The rough and pacing Woodmere bankroll is leaving out alongside Southfield Sandy towards the rail. Silver Jake, as they round the turn between horses, comes Catch Me If Luke Can. Then Overwatch and the trailer is Bloodhaven. They straighten up the back stretch. Southfield Sandy's lead is going to be short lived. Here comes Woodmere bankroll and Norris Rogers on to take over. Southfield Sandy now second. Catch Me If Luke Can third. Silver Jake's away fourth. That's Overwatch in fifth, trailing the field. That is the post-time favorite, Bloodhaven. 28 and one, a lively tempo in the early going. Woodmere Bankroll has Rogers sitting up. Racing second is Southfield Sandy, right with the leaders third. Catch me if Lou can. There's a large gap to fourth. Silver Jake in there. Fifth is Overwatch, and that post-time favorite has a lot of work to do. He'll have to circle the field from last. On by the opening half mile, and they were there in a rolling 57 and one on the point Woodmere Bankroll. Southfield Sandy getting a trip with them third. Catch me if Lou can. Silver Jake on the outside fourth. Moving up fifth is Bloodhaven. Now the trailer. That is Overwatch. Halfway up the back stretch for the final time. Three quarters next. Oh, and their confusion in the backfield now. At the three quarters, Woodmere Bankroll the leader. Racing second is Catch me if Lou can. Coming three wide, Bloodhaven is into it late. Three quarters in one. 28 flat. They're down to an eight to go and catch me. If Lou Can is now taken over. Bloodhaven on the outside. Now second. Overwatch is picked up third. Deep stretch. Now catch me if Lou Can. Bloodhaven on the outside with Dowling. It's a win photo. Overwatch rallies in to be third. Time for the mile in one. 58. Three, and we are under an inquiry. All right, here's a look at the slow-mo for you in the uh, ninth race uh, here this afternoon at Summerside. And if you were watching earlier in the race, the six, Bloodhaven was at the back of the pack. But Dowling put him into play on the backstretch. Uh, Rocky was able to get up in the final strides to get it done. Yeah, Woodmere Bankroll went to the front, 28-1, the half up, 57-1, and one, down to three quarters and one, 28 flat. And as you said, Bloodhaven, he was last at the half on the outside and moved up three wide going to the three quarters and gets up to get the job done here. That makes David Dowling three wins on the afternoon. He's only one away now from win 1,500. Gets the job done with Bloodhaven out of his own stable here today. Catch me if Lou can in there for second. Overwatch is third. And the one Silver Jake is fourth. But we are under an inquiry here in race nine. Hold all tickets. Ladies and gentlemen, we have two judges' inquiries underway in the ninth race. First one has the conduct of the race at the three quarters. The second one involves a possible pylon violation. Well, Bloodhaven, from worst to first, to move him to the ninth race winner's circle. Bay Pacing Gelding 5, a rocking image off the Cam Luck Dam, a feisty affair. Owned by Brittany Watts, Claire Murphy, and Joel Watts. Trained and driven to victory by David Dowling. For David, it's his third of the afternoon for the triple. Time of the mile in one, 58 and 3. Bloodhaven in the ninth. 